in order to open up onto the desktop or computer or the MacBook Pro, what you have to do is you have to go to um, MetaMask and you go through to the MetaMask website. And again, it's going to ask you whether you want to install MetaMask for your browser. Once you click yes, this will actually put that browser as an extension onto your MacBook Pro and then you're able to then start the process again from there. If you had opened the MetaMask wallet previously on your iPhone and you didn't secure your wallet, this is the perfect chance to do so. So you'll be able to download the extension, log in with the same password, and then be able to go through the steps for you to secure your wallet by recording your seed phrase and the 12 words in that specific number by recording it offline on pieces of paper and saving it in a safe place. And so you'll be able to have the extension on your MacBook Pro, but also on your iPhone. Once you open your MetaMask wallet, it goes to the Ethereum blockchain. And if you wanted to add other chains or other networks to your MetaMask wallet, such as Polygon, I'm gonna show you how. One of the advantages of Polygon is that it is a chain that is said to be more sustainable. Also, the gas fees, the ability to transact and move crypto and NFTs to from one to the other are much low on Polygon. In my signature style of being able to gift Amrita NFTs to either my people within my Byte community or to people that I've just met, I gift them on the Polygon network. Once you have opened your MetaMask wallet, you're going to have to be able to add the extension of the Polygon chain to your MetaMask wallet. So first open MetaMask and click the network drop-down menu, which you'll see at the top of the page. Now click Add Network and then click Add Network. Now we're going to be adding the network of Polygon. There's some instructions that you need to follow, but you can put in the name of Polygon or the currency symbol Matic. And if it asks for a chain ID, you put in the number 137. That will then allow you to press save and voila, you're able to access your Polygon network. If you have an NFT on the Polygon network, you need to be able to switch from your Ethereum network to your Polygon network for you to be able to see your NFT.